Now the latest developments on the scathing state police report on Cranston's mayor and the city's police department. Alan Fung apologized to residents yesterday. And new at six, we're checking in with one of the city councilors who says his ward was targeted by police. A claim that, in part, launched this investigation. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen joins us now with his reaction. We've been tracking all of the different reactions that have poured in since the mayor's news conference, but we wanted to speak with one of the men who originally brought all of this to light and see what happens for him next. Wouldn't the investigation. Counselors react to the mayor's news conference. And the mayor just allowing this to happen, it's incompetency. And I can't see the people of, of Cranston allowing this mayor to continue to function as mayor. Cranston Mayor Alan Fung recognized he made mistakes and apologized after a state police assessment found he meddled in the Cranston police, hid information from state police investigators, and failed to discipline his former chief. I want to apologize. Apologize to the residents of Cranston. Do you accept his apology? I'll accept his apology, sure. But that doesn't mean Councillor Paul Arquetto doesn't have questions for his mayor. Arquetto's one of two councillors who claim their wards were targeted with parking tickets, triggering a series of events that led to the state police assessment. Arquetto and other councillors are anxious to question the mayor at a council meeting Tuesday, something the councillors most upset about private investigators being hired to follow people. All the abuses of police power, all the trampling of civilian civil rights, and also uh, city employee civil rights. Um, the, the mayor has a lot to answer for. The mayor said he will absolutely not resign. Arcado said it's too early to say, but he does believe there will eventually be a no confidence vote put in front of the city council. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.